We are loading. Whoa! Whoa. That's Collect so bright. And the boost gauge at the bottom left will fill up. Uh-huh. When the gauge is full, press the X button for the super sun. Yeah, I boost. just did that without you telling me. Press the L button or the R button to dash. Okay, so that's not what I did. You probably mean side dash. So fair enough. And then the eyeball closes. Yes, that's what you mean by that. Alright, so whoa, hey, don't do that. Alright, so I gotta... Okay, yeah, I need like... There we go. Got, got a target, and we're getting there. Rocks somehow are in the way. Specifically between me and my target. That's okay, we don't talk about that. Got it. And okay, and I can dash like in all directions. Actually, not just to, like go L to go L or R to go R. It's just, it's just, it's just go everywhere. Cool. Need rings because I'm playing a supersonic, but I'm not like leading rings, which is great. Yeah, I saw my aiming reticle. Now you're ready to go and tickle, but you freeze in time. Maybe that's just me. Yeah, like he's not freezing in time. I just go so fast that it looks like time's frozen against him while his eyeballs are darting back and forth in panic in absolute fear. Trying to, well, all right, so I lost, I lost ring there. Uh, where are rings? There we go. Where are the rings I'm looking for? Uh, yeah, how do you dodge that? Also, I died. Okay. So, I lost all progress. Fair enough. Like, I was trying to get an eyeball's attention. But I'm not too sure how you, like, aim for an eye, you know? I hope I don't run out of lives, but we'll cross that threshold if we get there. Alright, yeah, just leaning in. Getting a good view. Like, eyeball. I am trying to aim for eye. Okay, there's a bit of a, like, a flicker that happens before he swipes. But like, when he does all, all the hands? I don't know, maybe I'm just not seeing it. So, we'll try and pay more attention. Like, he rears up, like it's very telegraphed when he's, he's ready to go, like, full on. Okay. Yeah. Like, it's subtle, but a flicker is there. I'm just waiting to be able, yeah, 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 in the middle. Doubt didn't count? Where are rings? Uh, where are they? No, wait, where are they? Rings, where are you? Rings. Oh, that didn't, okay. That didn't, huh? Like, I don't, I'm not sure what to do. Uh, well, I guess that wasn't the right time. Oh, boy. Don't understand what you want from me for that move. Maybe the strat you're supposed to make that move not happen? Maybe. And that's three hits. Oh no, you I was just not good at whoop, yet staying in the middle again. Fair enough. Uh, I think I want to go in this direction because that's like where his eyes are. Uh, 
like I'm on the wrong side of it. Yeah, like I'm... Why did I go right in this attack? I don't know. Like I'm just never getting the, the aiming radical. Okay, finally the... the Go. Yeah, it's right there. Aim. There we go. Pop right in your big old eyeball. That's in your mouth. How do you how do you choose? Alright, so I'm gonna this button. Alright, that's not the right timing. That's not the right timing, I guess. That was the right timing. That was not the right timing. <laughs> it's very clear what the timing is. Oh, these moves. These are aggressive eyeball meatballs. Alright. Right in there. You hate it. That main eyeball is open now. He is at full attention. I'm running low on range. Not anymore. Well, well I should have dodged that, but I didn't. Alright, there we go. Uh-huh, yeah. Oh, aggressive meatball. Aggressive meat. The eyeball does not have meat. Yeah, that's right. I'm the grain of sand that's ruining your plan. Your plan of existing. I did it. <laughs> I guess. Oh, that was that was not pretty. It took me a little bit to grasp what it wanted. Like, I'm glad that it let me figure. It. Honestly, no. The reason why I managed to win was because I had, I I started this whole process with ten lives. I just got a ton of lives racked up. Dude, the Gaia Gates. Alright. And so, falls back into the earth. Is it gonna be able to wake up at the natural step of its one million year cycle? No idea. Is that really that necessary a function for the planet to continue? I don't understand why. But, hey. The sizzling. Oh. Don't fall in the lava. That would be a would be pretty unfortunate. That was cool. I wish I grokked it better so that the fight will look more cool, but it's fine. I'm glad that I had a lot of lives, though, because game overing would have been frustrating, I feel like. Like, it's a puzzle fight, essentially. It's like, figure out what it wants, right? And it's, like, it's, like, it's, like, it's like, not unclear. Like, I, I, I don't think they're explaining it bad. I just think I gleaned that. Like, I do think that it's, it's on me, but it's okay. Gonna stop, like, belating on that. Finally did it, look at that. The Earth is full now. We did it. Trash Island is now part of the world. Like it's supposed to. Well, we're on the set of Reboot. Pleasant morning, wouldn't you say, Doctor? Hey, the robot survived. You can simply begin your plans anew. Why are you so sassy? Even if all of your efforts this last time were utterly wasted, even if it was a complete I mean, look. Loss, even the I was corrected. Sassy was is an improvement to actually traitorous or murderous, like Omega and Metal. So, you know, progress. <laughs> but I think there's a reason that when that robot model comes back, it's gonna be with a completely different personality. The world is returned to peace. It's simply a miracle. We've been saved by a miracle. The miracle that is Sonic the Hedgehog. There was no way Sonic would 
but let something like Jesus that allegory. And right the you <laughs> still. We all must sleep. We all must rest. We all Darkness must sleep, that's true. World, just the same as light. When the sun is out, everyone it wants to be in the, the shade. Has not been destroyed, but merely laid to rest. It I grows so. strong over the eons, rises up, then is put to slumber by the light. Perhaps that is the true balance true. of dark and if, light. If, if and why smile be, Satan didn't live inside the earth, darkness wouldn't be. Like that. There's some metaphysical issues with that notion, Professor. How is your peer review going on that paper on this very subject that you're working on? I like this game, but other than very key moments, this feels like a game that you play and then you forget all about it. Which is probably why, Sonic. whenever the greater population talks about Sonic Unleashed, they Sonic, are talking about must live. the HD version by Sonic Team and not SD version by Dimps. It's a relatively safe game that plays well-ish, uh, but I feel like you don't feel in control in key moments. Like it feels, the controls feels great when you are in a peaceful moment where you can button. But when you have to play with the environment, that's when suddenly you realize the controls actually do feel a bit lacking. They're like not quite there. That's okay. The consensus out there is that Unleashed uh, HD has higher highs and lower lows. And I mean, that fits with my experience here with SD, which is a very bread-like experience. Hey, we went back in time. Maybe? Or is that the effect of being catapulted up with Chip? You decide to put a way too much force in it. Sonic's no, okay, he's not dead. He's moving. Oh, I can't imagine how pulling your face out of something must feel. Like, it must feel super, Ow. like, upsetting. But Sonic's a cartoon. He can deal with it. It's okay. No, yeah, we are huh? back in time. Or not. Or am. Hey! I'll never forget you. Time to start your new ring collection. You can I'll wear it as a belt. Always. No, even as a, a belt wouldn't fit. Earth you, you can give it to Amy. She can put it on her hammer or something. Cause yeah, no, that would not fit. Okay, that thing just shrunk, so it could fit on your glove band. <laughs> okay, that's how they made it work. It's a legendary object. You know, one size fits everything. I like this game. All right, the shadows wigging out over there. That's okay. I am genuinely looking forward to playing the HD version, which ironically will be an SD. <laughs> uh, more info on that. We're not moving straight there though. Uh, so I want it. Okay. So I'm gonna find a save and I'm gonna download it and I'm gonna install it and it's fine. Like that. That's fine. That is the thing we're gonna do. Every Sonic ending is the same. Where you see tiny rectangles of video with the uh, with the credit go over, like this has been how credits have worked since freaking adventure. I think it's interesting. Anyways, um, well, it used to be stills, now it's movies, but it's been movies for a while. Anyways, what am I saying? Yeah. So, I expressed a desire to explore the Gaia Gates. I did a bit of a test and I returned to an old. Guy gate out of uh, like out of camera, and to my dismay, the capsules don't return. So if I download such a save file, like all the doors are gonna open, but I'm not going to be able to really look around at anything. So I think I can't go on a guy gate tour beyond those that I'm unlocked. I mean, unless I unlock medals, but I don't think I'm going to do it. Like, that's just a time sink that I don't think anyone needs. So I think we're going to have to be satisfied with what I have managed to unlock. Uh, Snickerbobble? 
has sent me a list of missions in the game that you can unlock that feature unique elements. Either assets, areas, or even, in some cases, gameplay. So we will be having, at the very least though, a mission cleanup. I don't know if it's going to be one video, could be split to two or three, depending on how well things are, but that's going to happen. So, yeah, at least one, maybe two more videos before we do HD. So, that's out there now. You will know. Why are your shoes so metallic? Hell, that's weird. The robots have been going like, boop boo I'm a ghost! Very scary, it's not working. Yeah, so I, I gave my, my, my thoughts on the game. I mean, like, I, it's gonna be interesting to contrast with uh, the big boy version. I feel like I want to do this again in the future. If in the future, we have another big boy, little boy situation of the same game, and like if they're rate like if they're released on the very exact same day, I think I want to do the little version first. Because I think that's interesting. You kind of see like the sort of like a bridge version. And I think it's gonna be more fun to experience the larger, more complete version afterward than playing the more completed version to then sort of like downgrade to a bridge, right? Like you always kinda of wanna progress going towards more. Uh, that's not always gonna be possible, though. Like, there is an instance where Big Boy is before uh, Little Boy, and that's just okay. Like, I mean, deal with it. I've got to follow that order. But when I get the chance... Anyway, so, that's out. Now I managed to put that bit of info out. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll talk about them. So, yeah, like I said, um... Uh... <laughs> HD Sonic Unleashed, like, I've got it working on the 3 PCS3, uh, no problem. However, the game, like, even on console, is known for running terribly. Like, it's well known that finally, with the magic of, like, Series X or something, you can actually play Unleashed in a way where it doesn't fall apart. Well, I'm not doing that. Um, I, I want to play it, you know, with technology of the time so I am going to be playing on PS3 virtual but like I said the game struggles to play as it is so that means I'm kind of running the settings in such a way to give the game as much chance as possible to be able to run as best as possible right which means running at native resolution which is 720p and um the reality is 720p upscale to 1080 looks like absolute garbage. Like, it looks bad. It just looks super bad. I guess you could do it with, like, AI, but then upscaling every video would take, like, three days. Not happening. So I'm just gonna record at 720 and I'm gonna upload at 720. Which means that, ironically enough, HD Unleashed is gonna be on YouTube in SD while... We Unleash, which is SD, is gonna be on YouTube and Asia. I think that's funny. I think that's funny, but I think that's just the best way to go to make the game look as best as it can. I plinked around in it and did it and it looked fine, I have to say. And I, I mean, spoilers, I guess. The little tiny bit of level I plinked in looked fantastic. Asia Unleash is a beautiful game, uh, even in 2020, so. That should be fun. I don't know. Maybe I'll get mad at the parts where people get mad. Look forward to that, uh, I guess. But maybe I'll enjoy the parts people enjoy, you know? Because I've, I've, I've been I've said at some point during this game where, like, yeah, people like, yeah, Unleash, daytime only would be a great game. Then I said, yeah, but in daytime, you kind of don't really do anything ever. But that's probably going to be less true in the in the thing I'm gonna be doing, you know, in, in, in the big boy, in the Sonic team version of the game. This is the first fully 3D game by Dimps. Like, I'm not, I, I, I mean, Dimps have used 3D graphics in like Rush and Rush Adventure, but the gameplay was 2D. This is the first time they had like fully 3D gameplay, and I feel like they did fine. Like I said, they played it safe, but 
maybe that's why, you know? Like, they've been kind of... I feel like, like, Sega has been really trusting of them to go like, alright, you know, like, that's a big increase, it's a bit of... Oh yeah, that building's totally shaped like a hand! Oh, okay. Every time we see the temples, next time... I have to think to see if I can picture if they look like a body part or not. Right? Now that I know... That was such a goofy idea, and I love it. Big old sock and bop and robot that I struggled with. I still love the idea of playing levels to strike hits. Like, that that's how a final boss in a platforming game should be. And you just never see that, even though to me it's just so obvious, you know? But I'm glad it happened here. Like, yeah, I struggle. Like, the levels are pretty hard, and it had been a bit since I played as... Uh, little Sonic, and also, uh, cure. Oh no, quick time! Quick time on PlayStation is going to murder me, and I... People have been talking about instant death quick times in, in HD, so uh, it's something I'm gonna have to deal with. Like, it's gonna happen, I'm gonna die. PlayStation buttons, oh! I mean, okay, yes and no, because the, the thing is... Like, I mix up Nintendo and Xbox button because they're the same letters plays differently. At the very least, PlayStation buttons are symbols, so, like, at least there's not gonna be an overlap. Like, I'm not gonna have to translate, hopefully. Hopefully? I mean, we'll see. We will see. The crit is for a game are huge now because you got more people working on the game that lives in the city. Okay, maybe not an American city, but like, you you had like a small city's worth of people working in a single video game at this point. It is like absolutely wild. Most of them have never met anyone else. That's, well, I mean, some of them are like in completely different studios all across the world, right? This is even more true, like, like now, now even in like indie games nowadays, you're gonna have indie teams of like, I don't know, man, 10, 20 people never meet each other because they're all like spread all over the world, like everyone in their own little studio at home. I mean, I, it's amazing, but I think it's wild that games can actually get done that way, you know? Endless possibility. Wow, bowling for soup, really? I did. Okay, that's funny. All right. Drum and bass. Guitars. I'm just saying words I see. It's pretty good. Jared Reddick, recorded by Mahashiro Fukuhara. No. I just read different parts, different sentences. Dear my friend, that's a funny title. I read Den Sen Dai Sensei is Dai Yusei. Not quite the same thing. Is this the world adventure that's playing by Tokyo Philharmonic Orchestra? Havoc! Hey Mark, with a big saw blade for an O. That's how you know they're extreme! Yeah, this is the, this is the theme of Unleash. So, uh... Wait. Okay, creative producer, yeah. That feels like an important part of the credit that you would put uh, near the top? I don't know, producer. Producers don't have hands-on. Well, there's two kinds of, of producers out there. They're either super hands-on or they're basically absent. With very little in between. <laughs> Copyright Sega! Yeah. And it's also presented by Sega. Wow. I like their font. Like, it's a really good logo font. It's very sporty. Like, I feel like you could have, like, a sport logo. And no one would say anything. Hey! Oh! It was never there. You imagined that. Oh, were you supposed to punch in the robot fight? Uh, oh, man. I'm glad I didn't have to. Wow, oh, you didn't unlock anything, though. It's not surprising. Alright, well... Next time, clean up. Wow.